Oh, this is the first place for me to go. In we go. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm guessing just whatever this thing points to. Oh god. We got fucking things attacking us already. Whoa, mama. I've arrived in the Grove of Reflection. According to Dias, I must locate the Tree of Shades and find a way to reveal my true self before I'll be allowed to take one of its branches. Okay. Oh. Alright, down we go. Standing stone, whoa. What did I just do? Shades. It's oh it's me. Do I just kill myself? After I approached the grove of reflection, a shadowy image of myself appeared from the water of the grove and attacked me. I defeated it, and now the tree of shades is beckoning to me. Oh, I guess it's called the Tree of Shades because my name is Shades. My name is Jeff. Oh, I got another Shadow Rend, apparently. Shadow Rend. Oh, that's cool. That's all it is. What the hell? Holy shit. I, no, it wasn't Shadow Rend. I have Dawnfang. What the fuck am I on about? That's a pretty cool sword, man. Alright, what do I do now? As DS requested, I've taken a branch of the Tree of Shades. I should now seek out Serta in the Howling Halls. All right. Oh, where the fuck do I go now? Oh, okay. All right, here's the Howling Halls. I like that chair just sitting there. Oh, I like the design of that chair. Look, it's got like little legs on it. That's great. I like that. All right. In we go. The Howling Halls. Whoa. -oh. What's going to happen down here? Oh, that doesn't look good. Fucking hunger statue. Who's this? Apostle. Oh. You're dead, mate. Apostle robes. Howling chamber key. I need that. Oh, look at all this treasure. Yoink. Oh god. Who's this guy? I'll just kill him. Oh Jesus. Why have these guys got white robes? Serta. Huh. Serta's now dead. Taking her eye should be a simple, simple matter now. Serta's eye. Oh god. Yoink. I have both items that Dias needs to recreate the staff of Shagoroth. I should return to Knife Point Hollow and speak with him. Okay. Right, we're back at this guy. Let's speak to him. You have the items. Contrary to all prediction. Once again, you defy the path set before you. However, what comes next is now unclear. If you wish to confront what is to come, I shall create the staff for you. Okay. Do it. You possess the eye and the branch. Together they shall form the physical shape of the staff of Sheogorath. After I shape them into the staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Sheogorath. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land and it will open its full power to you. You have defied the expected and accomplished something that denies all logic. I must contemplate the error in my calculations. Now, take your treasure and leave me. Oh, nice. Cool, right. Oh, do I still need to speak to him? Oh, with the staff of Sheogorath now in my possession, I should make my way to the Tree of Madness in Sheogorath throne room. There I can tap into the tree's power and begin my transformation. Okay, let's go. 
Alright, here we are. Okay, let's take out the staff. Unfinished, incomplete staff, Shagorath. Alright. Look at the eye on the end of it. Right. Doing the font of madness. Something is wrong with the font of madness. It won't accept the staff of Shagorath and imbue it with the power as Dias described. Perhaps Haskell will know what's wrong with it. Alright. Ah, you're back. You may have noticed that we have a, a bit of a problem. What's wrong with the f the font? I can't imbue the stuff with power. Indeed. The font is being ordered. As goes the font of madness, so goes the realm. Soon we will all be serving a new master. You mean Gigolo? Yes. His agents must have found a way to poison the font with order. Once the source of madness becomes the font of order, Jigalag is won. How do we stop him? Somehow, the forces of order have poisoned the pools of mania and dementia that feed the font. I suspect the traitor Thaden. Jigalag has never had an original thought in his existence. Be that as it may, you will have to enter the fountainhead beneath the tree and find the source of the poison. Okay, thanks, Jeeves. Let's oh, go. Lord. Oh, here we go. Down we go. Let's go check this out. Let's go pop pu up, -pu peep this out. Yo. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this staff doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, that's a problem. I probably shouldn't kill that, actually, because that, that's friendly. I witnessed a gnarl removing the order crystals that were poisoning a, poisoning a door here in the fountainhead. It seems that the tame gnarls here can halt the spread of order throughout the dungeon. I may be able to use their help as I work my way through the pools of mania and dementia. Right. Oh god. Okay. Let's go this way first. Oh, this one's evil. I think. No, oh, thank you. Just as Haskell expected, Juggalag's priests are poisoning the root of the Tree of Madness. I've cleansed one of the minor pools, but I, but I must find the pools of mi mania and dementia in order to save the tree. Alright. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, okay. I've discovered a crystallis that generates a tame null cultivator. Perhaps these nulls can help me halt the spread of order throughout the fountainhead. Oh, okay. Oh god, there we go. These um these priests, I think they work the same way as like the mythic dawn work. They're like regular people, and then they cast a spell, and then they turn into these bastards. I've killed the priest of order who had turned the pool of mania, who have cursed the pool of mania, now to cleanse the pool of dementia. Okay. On we go. Oh, we can go this way. Alright. Let's clear up this pool. There we go. Gotta keep going on to do the full one, though. Alright, here we go. The last fountain. And we're good. We've almost finished the uh, night's uh, Shivering Isles, by the way. It's gotta slash the shit out of these guys. Okay, I've killed the Priest of Order, cursed the Pool of Dementia. The traitor, Thadon, was among them. Now that I've cleansed both pools that feed at the Font of Madness, I should be able to imbue the Staff of Sheagorath with power. Alright.
Oh, there's Thadon. Okay, right. Let's imbue the staff. Let's take out the staff. Right. Here we go. I've immersed my staff in the font of madness. I've gained the power of Shagorath. Nice. Can I do the cool thing that he does with the staff where he, like, bounces on his hand? Oh. My lord, Archkendo Jansa sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. Okay, what does what does she want? I don't know, my lord. She only said it was a matter of the gravest import to the security of the realm. Right. Well, fair enough. Oh, I like these arrows. Let's have a look at these. Oh, these are pretty cool. I'm gonna keep those ones, I think. Yeah, right. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh, here she is. My lord, I'm glad to see you. We have a developing situation that requires your attention. What is it? Order. An obelisk has activated just outside the palace. I've ordered my Mazkin to engage the enemy. I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault. The cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. Cool. What are your orders, my lord? I'll lead the attack myself. It will be a great honor to fight by your side, my lord. Right, let's go. Oh god, here we go. We got people already. Die, bitch. But yeah, this is the final assault. We've just got to destroy everybody now, and we're good to go. Oh. Oh, this is the obelisk. Heart of the Order. Yeah, place one in. Oh. Shit. A second obelisk is activated. I need to shut it down to stop the knights from overwhelming the defenders. Okay. This reminds me a lot of the uh, whole Great Gate thing. The Oblivion Gates. It's probably going to be the same. There's probably going to be a Great Obelisk that's going to appear. destroyed it yet? I guess not. Let me take some more hearts of the order. Can I put any more in it? Oh no. I can just open it and then... Okay. I deactivate that one. Now he's got to do this one. God, they're just running around everywhere. It's so hard to attack them because like, they end up hitting my own people. Right. Heart of the order. Yoink. place more on it. I think this is the last one. There we go. Is that it? Oh god. There you go. Oh Jesus. Have we got to use the staff to kill him? Eh, it's probably in good faith. Let's do it anyway. Die, bitch. Oh, it doesn't actually damage him. Alright. We'll use Dawn Fang. Probably our best bet. Jesus Christ, he's so fucking big. He's dead. That was anticlimactic. Oh. Enough! I have beaten it. The Grey March is ended. For millennia, this drama has unfolded, and each time, I have conquered this land, only to be transformed back into that gibbering fool, Sheogora. It was not always so. Once I ruled this realm 
a world of perfect order. My dominion expanded across the seas of oblivion with each passing error. The other princes, fearful of my power, cursed me with madness, doomed me to live as Sheogora, a broken soul reigning in a broken land. Once each era, I was allowed my true form, conquering this world anew. And each time I did, the curse was renewed, damning me to exist as Sheogora. Now, though, you have ended the cycle. You now hold the mantle of madness, and Jigalag is free to roam the voids of oblivion once more. I will take my leave, and you will remain here, mortal. Mortal, king, god, it seems uncertain. This realm is yours. Perhaps you will grow to your station. Fare thee well, Sheogora, Prince of Madness. Juggalag has spoken to me and told me that Grey March has ended and he forces the order and the forces of order have retreated. Haskill will likely know how I should proceed. So there you go. Alright, let's go see Haskill. There you go, we did we did it. We defeated the Grey March. Day is done, fam. Jeeves, what do I do? You've done it. Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. Like what? As Lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. Benefits. You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. Oh god. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. Okay, what are my duties? Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects. You will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them either by dealing with the matter yourself or sending your armies to take care of it for you. Alright. Entertainment. You wish entertainment, my lord? Yes, and for a dancer. As you wish. Now what? Yes. Is that it? Is that the quest complete? I guess it is. As well, there you go. You honor me. Shigora. All right, let's let's put on his clothes. Well, I say his clothes, our clothes, because we are Shigora. Oh my goodness, we look beautiful. Let's wear his. Let's get his. Staff, there we go. Amazing. Look at us. We are great. Who's this? Is this our dancer? Oh. Your lips to his ears. Are you gonna dance? Take care. I'll sit on my At throne. Command, there we go. Alright, dance then. Go on. This is the worst dancing I've ever seen. Well, anyway, this actually is the end of the playthrough entirely. I've pretty much done everything I want to do. Of course, there's more like side quests and stuff. 
I most likely won't return and finish them. Um, that's pretty much it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what game I'm going to play through next. I'll probably decide that for the next couple of days. I'm probably going to have like a... Because I've recorded literally over the past few days, I've recorded everything. So I'm going to take a week off. I'll be like uploading every day still, so it's not going to affect like my uploads or anything. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. And so it ends The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. It has been a long run, it's taken me four months to upload all of these videos, all of The Elder Scrolls 4. It's been a long time. I know there's a few side quests I've missed out, but I'm not going to end up covering them. I really can't be bothered. This game was becoming a drag to play at the end, but I enjoyed this playthrough. It was fun. I don't know what game I'm going to be playing next, but something a lot shorter um, than The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. But either way, thank you for watching. If you've watched every single episode, fucking well done. Thank you. It has been great to have you. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. The next big game I'm going to be playing is most likely going to be Fallout 3, I think. Or Fallout New Vegas, I don't know yet. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next series. Goodbye.